Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Window Builder plugin in your Eclipse IDE to develop Swing Java GUI applications on your Eclipse IDE. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your Eclipse IDE and then once it's open, click on help and then click on install new software. From here, you can select uh, any uh, URL from here. I will suggest you to select the first link here, which is under all available uh, sites. So I'm going to select the first one and then I am going to search for window builder in the search box. So I'm going to just write uh, window builder here, which is going to search for window builder plugin. It's under general purpose tool. So just select that now, which is going to select all the window builder related options and then click on next. And once that's done, you will be able to see what's going to be installed. So you can see all the window builder related uh, components will be installed. So just click on finish here. And if you see uh, this kind of error, what you need to do is so you can see you are seeing public key not found error everywhere, right? So what you can do for solving this problem uh, is once again, go to install new software, select uh, this uh, URL, which is under all available sites. Again, search for window builder here and then select all these things. But before clicking on next, just uncheck this checkbox which says contact all update sites during install to find required software. I'm going to click on next here and then once again click on finish which is going to start the installation of this window builder plugin. So let's wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. After that you will see uh, this kind of uh, uh, window which says restart Eclipse IDE to apply the software update. I'm going to click on restart now, which is going to restart uh, my Eclipse IDE. So once my Eclipse IDE has been restarted, I'm going to create a Java project first of all. So click on file, then new, and then click on project. And from here, let's create a new Java project and then click on next and give the name to the project. I'm going to name my project as GUI app and then uh, click on next. Just verify uh, the JRE version. Here you can select the JDK and JRE version and then uh, here just leave it as default which says create separate folder for source file and then click on next and leave everything as default and then click on finish and you can see it's uh, going to ask you this question which says uh, create module.info java file. I can click on create and then I can click on open perspective and from here on this restore button I can click on uh, this restore button and I can see uh, my GUI application. Here I can see this uh, module info dot java file which uh, I can delete for now because I want to create a Swing GUI application. So I'm going to click on OK. And now my source folder is empty, right? Now in order to add a Swing GUI frame, I can right click on my source folder and then click on new and then click on other. And from here, I will be able to see window builder option once I have installed window builder plugin, right? Then I have the swing designer, so I can click on that and then I can add a J frame here. So just select J frame and then click on next. Give the name to your J frame. So I'm going to uh, name my frame as main frame. And then I'm going to click on finish, which is going to add this J frame in the default package on my project. So this looks like uh, this. So this is the main uh, Java file for your J frame. 
and you can see there is this design option also so source and design so when you click on design it's going to open this kind of designer on your eclipse ide 